Imagine bullying someone out of the country. Like what the UK tablets and the firm did to Megan. And then spending year after year after year talking about the people who fled Britain. Trying to find excuses as to why they fled Britain. You say they left because they wanted privacy. But not because of your abuse. You come up with so many excuses. Today I just heard someone say that Harry and Meghan should have just stuck it out. Meaning that they should have just taken the abuse, taken the insults and just put up with it. You know, that's what they expected from Harry and Meghan. My family, I say no to that. I say no to that. Because the people who say that they should have just stuck it out are the people who my family, if they go through a fraction of what Harry and Meghan go through, just a fraction, they would never ever be able to handle it. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. And my family, also I saw this story, my family, saying that Prince Harry and Meghan cannot agree on how to bring up their children. They are saying that Prince Harry is stuck in the past because of his court case against different UK tabloids. My family, as you all know, that that is coming from a tabloid that Harry is suing because they don't like being sued by Harry. They don't like that Harry is suing them, my family, because that story came from the Sun tablet owned by Rupert Murdoch, a tablet that Harry is suing, who's saying that Harry is stuck in the past. You have caused him so much pain and so much harm. You don't want him to pursue justice in court after what you did to him, after what you did to his mother, after what you've done to his wife, after what you've done to his children. My family, one thing that Harry has done and continues to do is protect his wife and kids. And he made that very clear even when promoting his memoir spare. He said he'll always protect his wife and children. Always. And he said that Megan feels safe in the US. Arch a little bit feels safe in the US. And that things have gotten so much worse in Britain. And he is right. Very right. Because still, years after Harry Megan fled Britain, still they have not stopped harassing, hounding, bullying, and abusing Harry Megan. Targeting every single person who works. With Harry Megan targeting Harry and Megan's income sources. That's what the tablets have been doing, my family. To try and destroy Harry and Megan, to try to clip Harry and Megan's wings to keep Harry from suing them. And no wonder they say that Harry is stuck in the past. My family, justice. For Harry has been delayed for a long time. A very long time. It's my prayer and hope that he gets his justice. For all the pain, all the illegal criminal wrongdoings that have been committed by the tabloids against Harry, against Meghan, against his children, and against his late mother. It's high time that Harry gets justice. And my family, it appears to me that right now, the new tactic of tablets more than three years after Harry and Meghan fled Britain is to try and pit Harry against Meghan and Meghan against Harry, hoping to cause some cracks or friction 
in Harry and Meghan's relationship. That's what they are trying to do and have been trying to do for a long time, even when Harry was in the UK. My family, when William was trying to turn Harry against Meghan, when Charles has tried to do the same thing, all of them have tried and the tablets keep on trying to do the same, same thing to try and turn Harry against Meghan or Meghan against Harry. My family, as you've seen also of how the media target Meghan, of how they attack Meghan, they pick Meghan as the target. My family, for example, let me use an example. When Jeremy Clarkson wrote that vile column of, about Meghan, when Jeremy Clarkson wrote that vile column about Meghan, my family, he said he had written a letter to Prince Harry. And he, say, he said that it was an apology. An apology to Prince Harry. That's what he said. But my family, it's not Harry who he abused. He abused Meghan. But who did he reach out to? Prince Harry. Why is that? Because the media and the tabloid media and the firm want Harry back inside the gilded cage. They want him back there. It's Megan whom they don't want. My family, it's Megan who they don't want. It's Megan who is their target. It's Megan who they are trying to abuse out of Harry's life. And my family, I find what Jeremy Clarkson did even way, way more disrespectful when he sent a, an email, basically, it was an email, to Prince Harry and not to Meghan, the woman he actually abused. I find what he did even more disrespectful to Meghan. It showed how they continue to dehumanize Meghan and because of what? Or because she's a woman of color who fell in love with Harry. Or because she refused to smile and accept the abuse. Two lined the pockets of the Madoc and wrote their own press with her suffering. The suffering of a woman of color. Or because of that. My family. Or because Prince Harry, whom they've called the crown jewel of the monarchy, decided to leave Britain with the woman he loves, with the mother of his son. All because of that, my family. And by sending an email to Prince Harry, ah, not to Meghan, my family, that's also an attempt at basically trying to pit Meghan against Harry. Because you'll be like, why are they apologizing to you? Because they did not abuse you. They abused me. Why is he apologizing to you? And not to me. I'm the one who he abused. So my family, it's about trying to cause strife. Between Harry and Meghan. And that's why he did what he did. And they continue to do that. Time and time again. And right now, they are claiming that... Harry and Meghan can't agree on how to bring up their children. My family, the last time I had Prince Harry and Meghan talk about their kids was just recently, my family, when they gave up $2 million to the youth to fight online cyber bullying. And my family, Prince Harry said that his kids are going to be grateful. And then Meghan told him, you know, they don't know it yet, but they will. That's what Meghan said about the efforts that are being conducted by this amazing you know, youth to fight online cyberbullying. My family, to me, it was very clear why Harry and Meghan do what they do. Everything that they do. They make every move to protect their kids from online cyberbullying. And that's Part of the reason as to why they gave out $2 million to this amazing youth 
to make the digital space, online space, a safer environment, even for children. And clearly, Harry and Meghan were thinking about their kids. When they did what they did, give out $2 million to help this amazing youth fight online cyberbullying. My family. And it showed how united Harry and Meghan clearly are in that. Protecting their kids. Protecting their children from what they have experienced. Online bullying. My family. And which continues to happen to Harry and Meghan seven years later. My family. And my family. Kindly hear what is being said. That while Prince Harry works on more solo projects and is concerned about his kid's safety, Megan wants to move back into public life with Archie 4 and Lilibet 2 by her side. And they're saying that it's Harry who wants, you know, Archie Lilibet to have that private life. And that Megan does not. He wants her, Archie Lilibet, and even Harry to go into public life. My family, first of all, let me say this. We have seen how Prince Harry Meghan, by their own actions, how rarely it is that even Archie and Lilibet are papped. They are rarely papped that even haters online are itching, demanding that Meghan, when she goes out, she leaves with her kids. She goes out with her kids. That she's papped with her kids. They're demanding that online. You know, I've seen the trolls online, what they're demanding. You know, Megan was papped just recently. And they're like asking for photos of her children, Harry Megan's kids. They want to see them. You know, how do you bully someone throughout their pregnancy and then demand to see photos of their kids? You know, how? How does that work? You know, it reminds me of what Megan said in the Cut Magazine interview. Of why would I give a photo of my son to people who call him the N-word rather than share a photo of my child with those who actually love him? You tell me how that makes sense and I'll play that game. But the haters want photos of Harry and Meghan's kids. Haters who say they're William and Kate's supporters aren't even focused on William or Kate Milton. They just have hate accounts dedicated to hating and trashing Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. My family, you know, there is something that I believe in. That if you, if a woman has endured labor pains. What Megan experienced giving birth to Archie Lilibet. She and her husband, only they have the right to decide the future for their kids. It's Megan who carried Archie and Lilibet for nine months. It's she who endured labor pains. It's she who gets to decide my family, whether or not she wants her kids to be seen. She and Harry. My family, I want to get that very clear. No haters or trolls or tablets will ever demand for photos of Harry and Meghan kids. They are not your kids. They are Harry and Meghan's kids. And also, to add on that, Harry and Meghan are not taxpayer funded. Now, some people tend to forget that constantly that Harry and Meghan are not taxpayer funded. My family, some people tend to forget that. And it's high time they're reminded of that. And my family, what we have seen for a very long time is Harry and Meghan protecting their kids. I myself would love it if we would see 
at a little bit. Even, you know, a photo of them on their birthdays. I would love it. For my family, we know what normally happens when Harry and Meghan release a photo. Their children are abused. They are abused by tablets. So my family, I even feel like that's the reason as to why they no longer release photos of their kids on their birthdays. Because of that abuse. Because of abuse. Every time they've done that, it's abuse after abuse from the UK tablet press. My family, that is what has normally happened. And those abusers who abused Harry and Meghan and their kids even, whenever Harry and Meghan, you know, released a photo of their child, are the same ones who are like, why can't they show us their kids now? Clearly, the reason why Harry and Meghan no longer show their kids is because of your abuse. Because of what you did when they did show their kids. My family, because of what the tablets have been doing. And clearly, no wonder Harry and Meghan don't give out, you know, photos, release photos of their kids. Not anymore. Like what they used to do. Not anymore. Because of abuse. And now the abusers want to see Harry Megan's kids. It doesn't work like that. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. It's high time that these so-called Kate and William supporters who focus on hating on Megan and Harry ask William and Kate for, for pictures of their kids and leave Harry and Meghan alone. Harry and Meghan don't earn a penny. Don't earn a penny of taxpayer money. They don't. They do not. Now my family. On this story also. Something came to my mind. When Prince Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family. The tablets created cartoon pictures. Mocking Prince Harry. Saying. Are you now going to work at McDonald's? And then Prince Harry and Meghan had to look for deals to pay for, you know, their, to fund their lifestyle in my family. That's what Harry and Meghan had to do. And my family, I myself knew that one way they could earn a fortune is by being able to sign a deal with a streaming service and work with them and work with them. Tell their story of what happened to them. You know, I knew that. I knew that. And my family, truth be told, then Prince Harry Meghan signed a deal with Netflix. And then the tablets lost their minds. Angry that Harry signed a deal with Netflix. And that Harry was not going to work at McDonald's like how they wanted him to. To be able to mock him. Humiliate him. Hoping that after the one year review period that the royal family had placed, that Harry would come back to the royal family alone. Now, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. That's what they're hoping for. But Harry and Meghan were never going to come back. And that's why when they signed a deal with Netflix, the Rota were pissed off and angry. Because they were hoping that after the one year review period, Harry comes back alone. Without Megan or Archie. That's what they were hoping for. And when Harry and Megan signed that deal. With Netflix. It showed clearly. They had no intentions of returning. Because my family. If you do return to the whole family. Then definitely. They don't want you earning your own money. They want to depend on them. They want to use their money to control you. To control the spirit. To control Harry. So my family, they were never going to allow Prince Harry to continue his deal with Netflix if he ever, you know, came back. And that's what the Rotter and the farm did not want. Harry and Meghan signing business deals, my family. They wanted them broke to force them, to force Harry in particular, to come back alone. That's what they wanted. And I'm, ho and I'm very, very happy, my family, that they did not Succeed in their evil plots against Harry and Meghan. So my family, 
These deals enabled Harry and Meghan to be able to pay for their amazing home in Montecito. These deals enabled Harry and Meghan to be able to fund their security. These deals are for creating content, my family, for Netflix and Spotify, enabled Harry and Meghan to pay their bills, to pay for their home in amazing Montecito, my family, which the Rota are always so bitter about when they keep yelling 19 bathrooms because they never ever wanted for her to have nice things. Never ever wanted for Harry to have nice things. Never. Never. They still don't want him to have nice things. My family, and that is very, very crystal clear. They have never wanted for Harry to have nice things in life. Never. Harry was supposed to be miserable. And his misery, William benefits from his misery. My family, by becoming even way more popular than Prince Harry. That's what they wanted to happen. And still even right now want to happen. Because they never ever stopped with the attacks, the bullying, and the smear campaign. They have never stopped. So my family, the reason right now that they're trying to use this story, saying that, you know, Megan wants to move into the public life, into public life, my family, with Archie and Lilibet by her side, and Harry does not. The reason they are trying to pit Megan against Harry is because they know how lucrative it's going to be for Harry and Megan if they continue creating content in Hollywood, Megan opening an Instagram account, Megan opening, you know, you know, her blog the tig, relaunching her blog the tig, basically. They're afraid of that because they don't know how much money Megan would make. And that's why they are trying to imply, oh, Harry does not want that. Harry does not want that. To beat Megan against Prince Harry. My family. Because they know how lucrative it is. And he's going to be for Megan. If she relaunches her blog the thing. And they don't want that. They don't want that. My family, you've seen. When Megan wears anything, it sells out. Now imagine if Megan had her own blog the thing. You know, we launched her blog the thing, my family. And then basically promoted clothes. You know, fashion brands online clothes from different fashion brands online just imagine that it will sell out in an instant and they don't want that for Harry and Meghan they want them broke they want them broke they want them broke Hollywood lifestyle my family you know has its own demerits and also it has its own advantages for Harry and Meghan it's made them millions millions Harry has been able to pay for an amazing home. A home he never could have had in the firm. Harry has been able to pay for security for his wife and kids. Thanks to creating content, my family, for Netflix and also Megan for Spotify, my family. Megan for Spotify, my family. Thanks to that. Thanks to that. So clearly, the tablets are opposed to any money-making ventures that are lucrative for Harry and Meghan. They're opposed to that. And that's why they are so desperate to spread this narrative. Hey, look, that Meghan wants to move back into public life, but Harry does not. My family, let me ask a question. If you don't, you know, create content, for example, for Netflix, are you going to earn money? Are you going to be able to pay your bills? The answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no. And my family, and that's what the tabloids don't want Harry to do. To continue his money-making deals with Netflix. They can't stand it that Meghan signed with WME. 
They can't stand it, my family. In my family, I've said, there is no way back for Megan into the royal family. Because Megan, first of all, the royal family and the tabloid media don't want her back. They want Harry back. They don't want Archie only a bit back. They want Harry back. Only Harry. Not Megan, not Archie, not Lilibet. They want Harry only. For Megan, she has to work. She really has to work to provide for herself. Before she met Prince Harry, she could go anywhere without security. But now she needs security. 24-7 for the rest of her life because of what tablets have done. Inside hate against Megan and her kids on a daily basis. On a daily basis, my family. It continues to this day. So my family, Megan has got to make money. She has to. And so does Prince Harry. And I feel like they do know that for a fact. They know that very well. Even especially Megan. She knows that very well. No wonder when tablets dream about Harry coming back, they never mention Megan. Because they know after what they put Megan through, no person in their right mind will ever return. So what does Megan do? Megan works. Megan works. To raise enough money to pay her bills, to fund her security, to secure her kids' future. That's what Megan is doing. My family, inside Megan's world, Megan did this, you know, filming, creating content before she met Prince Harry. Harry, in Harry's own words, he was raised to be unemployable. He was not supposed to get any job. His job was supposed to just, you know, be depending on Pa Charles for money. And then he was supposed to be depending on William for money, someone who would physically assault him. That was Harry's life and family. That was supposed to be Harry's destiny, depending on Pa Charles and Willie for money. So my family, after what they endured, there's no way that Harry would ever want that kind of life ever again. And I believe in one thing. Prince Harry and Meghan will protect their kids, Archie Lilibet, from tablets, will protect their privacy. They will protect them, my family. They will protect them. And I feel like, and I know that Prince Harry and Meghan are united very much in that, protecting their kids. Protecting their kids. You can hear it in their words. You can see it in their actions. Protecting their kids is their number one priority. And for them, my family, there is no disagreements between Harry and Meghan. So these stories are just a bunch of lies. Lies about Prince Harry, Meghan, the Duke, and Duchess of Sussex. These stories are just a bunch of lies. They're lying about Harry and Meghan having disagreements because Meghan wants to move back into public life. Public life, you know, having that deal with Netflix, Spotify, enabled Harry and Meghan to pay their bills. So clearly, you could see how tablets are opposed to that. You could see why they're hoping that Harry is opposed to that life because they've never wanted for Harry to be financially independent. They've never wanted for Harry to make money. Never. They have wanted Harry to be dependent on Charles and William for money. That way they can be able to control him. It's all about control and money has been used as a tool to control members of the family lower in the line of succession. Spares a family like Prince Harry. And my family, it angers UK media that they can't control Harry, that Harry is suing them, my family. And Harry will sue them. And Harry is suing them for unlawful gathering of information. Harry, his court case versus the Santa Blade, versus the Santa Blade, will be hard, my family, next year on unlawful gathering of 
information. Because Harry will not let go of an injustice committed against him or Megan or even his own kids. And it is despicable that tablets are asking him, demanding of him to forget what they did to him and what they continue to do to him. Now, my family, I believe that if they left Harry and Meghan alone, when they step back as senior members of the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan would not even have done the Oprah interview, but they did not leave them alone. They continued pursuing Harry and Meghan. So my family, Harry and Meghan have every single right in the world to speak up. And Harry and Meghan don't have different ideas on parenting. Yes, Harry has been affected by his public upbringing, my family. But one thing we've all seen about Harry and Meghan is that they'll protect their children's privacy. And no wonder, you know, nobody even can get to see them. It's not easy for even Harry and Meghan's kids to be packed. Because Harry and Meghan are protecting them. When they are papped, my family, legal letters follow. Whereby the tablets have to blur photos of Archie and Lilibet, like what happened during the 4th of July parade. My family, that's normally how, you know, Harry and Meghan do things. They protect their kids. And they'll always keep the kids safe. There is no disagreement between Harry and Meghan on that particular issue of protecting their kids. And anyone who says otherwise is a liar. My family. And it's high time the tabloids understand that what they're doing to Harry and Meghan is despicable. Trying to sow discord between Harry and Meghan is despicable. Trying to pit Harry against Megan or Megan against Harry, what they're doing is quite, quite despicable. And my family, my prayer is, is that they never ever succeed in their evil plots to split Harry from Megan or Megan from Harry. I hope they never ever succeed. Now, my family, now tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I'd like to hear your opinion. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lily Bertana, and Dory Raglan. And all of you members of the squad at home, hey, never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. My family, love you always and forever. Harry and Megan love each other and they love their kids. And they'll always protect their kids. And Harry will continue to make money because he needs to make money to pay his bills, to pay for his security. My family, Harry won't ever come back to begging Pa and Willie for funds. You know, that's also really my prayer, my family. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And what God has put together, let no man or woman ever separate. My family, may the Toby media never ever succeed. In the evil plots of separating Harry from Meghan or Meghan from Harry. My family love you always and forever. He never wins, love wins. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. For lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, 
and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.